lazy, hazy days of summer? Yeah, you know who isn't lazy in the summertime? Well, it's those bugs that keep biting us. We want to tell you about something called Skeeter Syndrome because it's going to get worse here in the last half of the summer. And we want to remind you that wherever there's an itch, there's a scratch that can turn into an infection patch. The important thing is to keep your kids from itching and scratching because once they do that, they can get big welts and those can cause infection. But what do you do to prevent it in the first place? Well, the first thing you do is when you have them go outside, you have them wear that cute little hat. You have them wear long clothes, whether it's the sleeves or the pants, and you use the bug spray on the back of the hat, on the back of the clothes. Now, how about antihistamines? Do you ever need to use those? Well, yes, there's the long-acting ones like Claritin and like Allegra and like Zyrtec, and then there's the short-acting ones, and that's like Benadryl. Well, we recommend that you talk to your doctor about what's right for your child for the age, but there are many people that especially the last half of the summer, if they're going to be outside a lot and supposedly getting bit by these bugs, use the long-acting antihistamines every day. And then use the Benadryl or something like before you go outside in the first place. Now, how about other types of uh, creams or things? Well, some people will use cortisone cream to try to, to control the itching, and that can work too. But in a minute, we're going to talk about the infection aspects and when you should call your doctor. So we've got our two conditions. We've got Skeeter syndrome and we've got infection. Are they alike? Well, they look a lot alike. Sometimes you can have these huge, big, red, raised, hot areas and they always itch. But the difference between Skeeter syndrome and infection, sometimes called cellulitis, is timing. The Skeeter syndrome will often come within an hour or so of the time of the mosquito bite, whereas the infection will come usually later, within the next day or so. And incidentally, we think that Skeeter syndrome is only because of mosquito bites, which had to do with a particular protein in the saliva of the mosquito that is causing Skeeter syndrome, whereas infection from other types of insects is usually just because of all of that scratching. So the important thing is keep your child from itching and scratching in the first place with prevention and then be on top of it with the antihistamines once it happens. If you see a red area that is going on for, again, more than a day or so, chances are it might be an infection that needs to be seen. So don't wait around for that. And if your child ever has a fever and really is acting ill, you'd call or go in a lot sooner. So the important thing is enjoy those lazy, hazy days of summer, but keep it safe from the mosquitoes. Oh, and incidentally, don't have standing water around and don't go out at dusk or dawn. And give that kid a hug.